over the midterm results, but he was anything but during the first White House press conference after the vote. A bad-tempered row with CNN's Jim Acosta, whom he called a terrible person, resulted in the broadcaster's chief White House correspondent having his press credentials removed, effectively barring him from 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue until further notice. Add to that an accusation by President Trump's press secretary that Acosta placed his hands on a young woman holding the microphone. Conduct absolutely unacceptable, Sarah Sanders said. Well, Acosta says it's a complete lie. Following the fracas, the White House issued an edited version that came from the conspiracist website Infowars. Was it the same as the original? Watch carefully. Well, is the White House guilty of fake news and what does the unprecedented barring of a reporter mean for a free press in Trump's America? I'm joined from Washington by Ksenia Pavlovich, a White House reporter who was at the press conference yesterday. Good evening, Ksenia. Uh, first of all, what do, you, what do you make of that clip that was put out by the White House? Uh, what I make of it that I was there in that room and I don't need to watch a clip to know what happened. The clip obviously seemed manipulated, it's enlarged, but I was there sitting at that room throughout the whole conference and the only assault that happened was the assault on the First Amendment and free press and democracy. But wasn't uh, Jim Acosta really pushing his luck because he was repeatedly questioning the president? There were a lot of other reporters in that room. That is his job, and if you watch uh, the interaction between the press corps and the president in the past, it is a standard practice to have a follow-up on the question you're asking. It is our job to ask tough questions, and we are living in the land of the free, and uh, being in the land of the free means that we are free to ask hard questions. But isn't there a danger that Jim Acosta was playing a bit of the victim and it's as much a story and a kind of a win for CNN as it appears to be for the White House? I don't think that this is about CNN. And if we start looking uh, at it that way, that is going to be dangerous for our, for, for, for our profession. Uh, I said to Jim... Uh, yesterday that attack on him is the attack on all of us. When the American president does something like that, he's setting the tone for the rest of the world. He's not only attacking the CNN, he's attacking all the journalists. And as someone um, like myself who lived in Serbia under Milosevic, and I was de facto in the police state, watching today in the White House how Secret Service is taking away a press credential of a reporter just because they didn't like the question, sets a dangerous precedent for our profession and for press freedoms worldwide. But hang on a minute. I mean, Donald Trump probably gives more press conference and more airtime to journalists than any other president, certainly a lot, a lot more than uh, Milosevic. I mean, and a lot more, actually, than former American presidents. He loves standing in front of the press. You can't say that you don't get a chance to question him. He does like, but under his terms. That is the difference. Jim Acosta challenged him last night in the way he doesn't like to be challenged. And that is a problem. He uh, considers a press to be a publicity machine. And in that way, yes, he likes to, to talk to the press, but he doesn't like to be challenged. And no president, no politician can expect to have an easy ride with uh, the journalists. And well, this is our job. Yeah, you, when um, Sean Spicer was press secretary, he memorably stopped the cameras coming in briefly and you live streamed Periscope. Wasn't that a breach of etiquette given that there was a rule? Uh, they uh, breached, uh, they infringed uh, on the first freedoms and the First Amendment in the White House. Imagine something like that happening in the British Parliament. You yes. would have people on the street protesting. Um, when the American president does something like that, the whole world is so watching, and my actions had enormous support in the American public. Give, well, I was going to say, let's talk about the support or not for Jim Acosta. Do you think there's going to be a concerted White House press corps response to this? Might there be a boycott, just very briefly? Uh, I hope so. I believe that we should all stand up together 
and uh, really not tolerate this mi misguided decision of the White House to take away reporters' right to report from the White House. That is something unprecedented, and we cannot go down that road here in America. We right. are the land of the free. Thank you very much for joining us.